Hello Stampers, I'm Dina Lanzendorf at Ink and with Dink and welcome to my video. I recently participated in a swap with my team and our theme was we had to use something new. So something either from the January through June 2020 mini catalog or a celebration item. So I thought today I would share with you the swap cards that I received because I thought they were so fabulous. And then we're also going to make a card at the end of the video, so don't go away. Okay, so here's the cards that I received. I received this one, which that is just the prettiest stamp set ever. I love it, love it, love it. And Katie made that, that card. And here's a cute one with the raccoon on it. Um, love that little set too. It's got several different little forest animals in the set. And that's by Pat Baum. And here's another one using that poppy stamp set. Um, only this one has the designer series paper in it too, which is so pretty. And that was by Laura. And this gorgeous creation was um, made by Lynn. And Lynn always makes the most fabulous cards. And I love all the gold foil that she used. It just makes this card so elegant looking. Here's another card using the poppy. Um, stamp set. Um, this one's also using the coordinating stamp set and dies that are in the catalog together. And this one, you've got to see the way this one opens because it is so cute the way it opens. It actually opens like that. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And then to close it, you just kind of slide it back in like that and it closes like that. Thought that was a gorgeous card. Don't remember who made it though. No name. This is a fun card using the uh, umbrella punch and the coordinating stamp set with the little galoshes in it. Super cute. Deborah made that card. And this card um, uses the stamp set, I can't remember the name of it right now, that's in the mini that has all the little birthday characters. So cute with the little pom-poms. And I do remember Diane made this card. This card uses the um, all the B stuff that's out right now. We have a stamp set um, and dies, and then there is paper that matches it that is a celebration item. So it's really fun stuff to play with. Um, really like it, and Pat Valenti made that card. This is using the stamp set um, that has all the lipsticks and the cosmetic stuff in it. So fun. Love the paper. Again, makes it elegant looking. Um, and I do remember, I think Sandy was the one that made this one. And this beautiful card is made um, using the stamp set that's the Paris one. Um, and it is just so pretty with this die here that says the word amour. And I think that is gorgeous. And I believe Julie made this one. This is um, a card using the heartfelt stamp set that's in the mini and also the truck that's in the, I believe it's in the regular catalog, has the dies to match it. And Sheila made that card. Thought it turned out cute with the hearts in the back. This pretty card uses the Valentine stuff too in kind of squares and rectangles of coordinating paper. I thought it was really pretty. Dana made this one. And I made kind of a peekaboo card using the meerkat stamp set. I just cut the circle out of the card and glued the little meerkat on so that he looks like he's peeking through. Okay, so those are my swaps that I received. I thought they were fabulous. I hope you do too. But today I wanted to also create another peekaboo card with you, only this time we're going to make my husband's Valentine card. I can say that on here because he didn't watch my videos at all. So I thought I would do a peekaboo card with it. Um, so let's get started on it. So I'm going to start off with a piece of real red cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and a half. Just going to take it and fold it in half. Going to be sure and use a bone folder so that the crease is nice and crisp. Just like that. And then I'm going to put that aside. Okay. Now I want to create the piece that I'm going to do the peekaboo. So I'm just taking a piece of Whisper White cardstock and it's going to measure four inches across and three inches tall. Now I know this is the right side because I kind of played with it before. But I'm going to take one of our heart punches that is in the catalog. It's actually a bundle when you buy the heart punch. There are two coordinating punches. There's a plain heart and then there's a scallop heart um, and they layer onto each other. So I'm just going to use the plain heart. I'm going to put my cardstock 
all the way in. I'm going to center it side to side, if I can keep a hold of it here. And I'm just gonna punch my heart out of it, just like that. Okay, got it a little rough there. That's what we're gonna do, okay. So he is going to go right up here at the top of my card front, okay? So I thought I would need something on the bottom. So I just am taking a piece of the um, designer series paper that goes with the heartfelt um, suite. It is called the From My Heart Specialty Designer Series Paper. It's one of the products that I featured last week um, in my videos for the week. So I just cut a piece to go along here and I think he's four inches by two and a quarter and that way I end up with my five and a quarter total going up that way. But what I want to do is I want to kind of cover this seam here with some ribbon. Okay, and I'm trying to think of how I want to do it. Do I want to? I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and take my designer series paper, put some adhesive on the back of it, and I am going to just stick it down to the front of my card. Okay, I'm also going to take the white piece, again, put some adhesive on the back of it, and stick it down to my card front, just like that. Then I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm just kinda, gonna kinda do this like a decorative thing. So I wanna cut a little angle and I am just going to lay it across here, kinda partially measure what I'm doing here. I'm gonna put down some adhesive and my ribbon is just going to go kind of as a decorative thing right across there like that, okay? All right, now I am ready for my little peekaboo up here. So I'm going to stick with the meerkats. So I'm using the set, the Gangs All Mirror. And I'm using the little guy out of there that looks like he's standing up, okay? So I'm just gonna take my early espresso stamp pad I'm gonna ink him up and I'm just gonna stamp him right there like that, okay? Now, since it is an outline image, it does need to be colored in. So, I have found the best thing to use when I'm doing my meerkats is my watercolor pencils. I just like the way they look um, and the way you can control them. So, I'm going to take my brown one, which I believe is early espresso. And I'm just going to color in my meerkat, okay? Now I don't have to do a fabulous job because I'm gonna do my favorite thing and color over it with my blender pens. And I don't even have to go all the way down on him because he's gonna be a peekaboo. So he's gonna be looking like he's popping up out of my heart, okay? So now I'm going to take one of our blender pens and I'm just going to color over the top and it is absolutely amazing what these do to your colored area. They blend it all so smoothly, fill in all the white spaces and it's just amazing looking. So now I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to fussy cut out my little meerkat. Now, I want him to look like he's got his paws over and peering, so I'm gonna cut them out like that. And then go ahead and just cut out the top part of him. I have been trying so hard not to do so much fussy cutting with you guys, because I know a lot of you do not like it, but that's not fair to those of you who do enjoy it as much as I do. So guess what? I'm back to fussy cutting again. I love to do it. It is very, I don't know, soothing to me. Okay, there we go. So there is my little meerkat. So what I wanna do, I like to use the liquid adhesive on him. And I am going to, since he doesn't open in my card, he just looks like he's peeking through, I'm gonna go ahead and put adhesive all over the entire back of him place him on there like that so he looks like he's peeking out. He is super cute. Okay, 
Now I was trying to come up with something to put on here to say Happy Valentine's Day. And I'll tell you, we don't have a lot of stamp sets that say Happy Valentine's Day. So what I thought I would do is pull out the A Wish for Everything, and it is a double stamp set. It comes in two boxes, and you can buy it as a bundle with the word Wishes Dies. Okay? And they are fabulous because they cover all the holidays. And they a lot of the holiday words are either um, dies or stamps. So you can kind of play with them and do it however you want to do it. So I actually use the die that says Valentine's. And I cut it out of real red cardstock. So I'm gonna put that right there. I think it's very elegant looking, I like it. And then I pulled out the stamps that say happy and day, okay? Now they are super short and we don't have any kind of a small punch like that for them. So let me tell you what I'm gonna do, okay? Um, I'll show you one, here's the happy, that I've already done. And I made it so it punched it out nice and small. So here's how I did it. Just gonna take some scrap white cardstock, take my memento stamp pad, and I'm gonna stamp the word day, just like that, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my classic label punch, and I'm going to position my word in here, and I wanna position it over to the left as far as I want it to go. So just like that. Now I know he's not centered, but wait, and I will show you how to do that. So I'm just gonna punch that out so that I have this right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stick it back in here and I'm gonna line it up how I want it to punch out on this side. Be sure that this is in there straight and is centered, and that way when you punch it out, you've got it shaped just like you want it, and then it's super easy to put on there like that, okay? Now, he will be really fun, popped up a little bit. So let's take the word happy. We're gonna put a dimensional on the back of him. We're gonna take the word day, put a mini dimensional on the back of him. And let's put him on there. And let's put day on there. And then I'm ready to do my word Valentine's. So, you know I love the liquid multi-purpose Tombow glue. So I'm just gonna put a few dots on here. And I'm gonna kind of angle him up a little bit. And there we go. There is the cute Valentine card I'm gonna give my husband. Happy Valentine's Day with the little mirror cat peeking through. I thought he turned out really cute. I'm happy with him. Um, and then of course, you know, nothing on the inside yet because I'll add all my mishy stuff with that um, before I give it to him. So I hope you have enjoyed watching my video of all of my swaps that I received. I would love to have you guys join my team. Um, we have such a great time with my team. We have all kinds of get-togethers. We have a very active Facebook group um, where we do all kinds of challenges. We cheer each other on. Um, just lots and lots of comfort, companionship, um, and, and just kudos, all kinds of stuff on our website. And Stampin' Up! has a fabulous special going on right now if you join. And you can find that, hang on. You can find all of our joining information in the celebration catalog right now, okay? So if you open up here to the front, um, nope, that's not our joining stuff, here it is. Back here to the back where it says join, you can see that for only $99, you pick out $125 worth of product of your choice. You get a free mini trimmer. You get a six by six paper pack um, with lots of samples of paper from the mini catalog. Plus you get an additional stamp set of your choice. Um, 
from any of the catalogs. So it is a fabulous, fabulous deal. Once you buy this, um, you get a 20% discount on all of your orders so for as long as you stay active. So it's a super deal. You never are under any additional commitments of things you have to do. But I know once you come to our meetings and join our team and see how much fun it is, um, you don't wanna quit. So it's just a lot, a lot of fun. So let me know if you have questions. Like I said, I would love for you to join our team right now um, with this fabulous special that we have going on so just contact me if you have any questions at all and don't forget when you're placing your order this month to be sure and use my January host code I do give out free gifts for any online orders I receive and this month I'm given an extra free gift for all orders so don't forget to use your host code so please share my video and thanks for watching